a walk in the Legion field. It's the origami killer. That guy has too way too much time on his hands. House fire, bad one. At least four Vicks. Get out there and find Again. out what you can. The address is six fifty North Hobart. Mouthpiece sort stripped off me at the grand jury. Paper thrown out. Now the DA wants my head. Yeah, the game still screwed me on that last case. Hey, you know how dangerous that is? Let's get any on the side. No. He just said the case has given me my own son or something or set. I can't remember. You know the way. You can drive. You hear about Rancho Escondido? Are we having a conversation, Vic? Okay, fuck it. Forget I. I'm teasing you first. Tell me about it. The new housing development is a couple of weeks from completion. Burned to the ground last night. You guys are ready to move in this weekend. Velvet's gonna have some very angry customers. If it's suburban redevelopment, is the one involved with this again? Yes, they're gonna have a lot of shit coming down on their neck. I was gonna say heat, but okay. House fire, 11:40 a.m. Hey, Mal. How's it going? You guys better see this. I hope you have strong stomachs. Oh, God. Oh, boy. Here we go. What is it? Oh, that's you have bad. An Morelli, Mike, we recovered a picture of the family. Okay. Anything else? To be honest, I just got here, Phelps. Best you talk to Lynch. He's the expert. Doesn't make any sense. Why aren't they scattered around like the rest of the debris? I think they've been moved. Ooh. I think someone moved them after the explosion and before the fire. Can you explain that, please? I'm almost positive the cause of death is asphyxiation due to gas inhalation. Look at the parts of their bodies that aren't scorched. The coloring around the fingertips is typical. It wouldn't have felt a thing. I think the fire damage is post-mortem. I think someone moved him into this room after the explosion. It still doesn't make any sense. Why would you run into a burning building? Ugh, that's terrible. What are we doing? Praying. Prayer effect is from the fire. The muscles and tendons contract. Now, time to look for some more evidence. You ever think about how many people have died in this world and how big heaven would have to be to accommodate them, Biggs? No, I have not. Show some respect. It's our boy. I think he watches the fires. I think the Sawyer fire went wrong. So what about the guy we have in jail, Phelps? We got the wrong guy. That doesn't explain why he ran into a building. Yeah, we definitely building. do. What would make anyone do that? Guilt. For the fires? for his mistake. This guy wants to burn houses, not families. He expects the houses to be empty. He was trying to redeem himself. He probably thought they'd be happier together. You are one very disturbed individual, Phelps. I know you had it rough lately, but you should start to compartmentalize your thoughts. He could be right. Can you come up with an alternative explanation? I'm sure it's the same guy. Are you telling me that some son of a bitch murdered these people, the whole family, and arranged them here like Cupid dolls? Might fit, Cole, but I don't think we could ever prove it. There's very little evidence. Ugh! Evidence! Oh, that's disgusting. Albert, check out the hot water system. Make sure we're dealing with the same M.O. Sure, Phil. So I'll get back to you. Leave the rest to us, Cole. You better find out what's eating the pigs.
So something finally got to you. You want my help, pretty boy? You got it. You keep riding me and you won't be pretty much longer. We can get this guy, Herschel. You think you've seen everything, Phelps? I was with the second Marines at Bella Wood. The things that went on in that farmhouse. My own guys on fire, screaming for a way out. You're not gonna get this guy. There's gonna be no photos and no citations. We're gonna kill this miserable fuck. End of story. You getting this? Yeah. You remember the list from the travel agent? Sure. The Morellis were winners too. Their name was on that list. Christ. We should take a look around, work the neighbors, see what they know. I'll go across the street. Okay, I'll try this side. I haven't done this for years. You don't look like a fireman, son. Thank you. LAPD, can you tell me anything about the fire next door? Terrible luck. Imagine after having won that weekend away. What's your name, sir? Foreman. Dudley Foreman. Is it Foreman a job? Did you see or hear anything that might have... Look, we were asleep when we heard the explosion. You didn't like Morelli, did you? Some neighbors you get along with, some you don't. Guess they should have sold up. What do you mean? They're knocking down all these old houses and building a new subdivision for GIs. Morelli was being difficult. You said someone is knocking these houses down? Elysian Fields. You must know them. They're billboards. That Monroe character beaming down at you. We've had an offer for the house. Did the Morellis want to sell? I don't know. Whatever you thought of Morelli, his whole family is dead. They couldn't have all deserved that. I want you to help me here, Foreman. Morelli was pig-headed. He built the house himself. He didn't want to sell. Stubborn fool was ruining it for all of us. You said the Morellis had won a weekend away to Catalina Island? Yeah, that's right. First thing I thought after the explosion was, thank goodness they was away. Then I find out they were still in there. Who was running the competition? What? I don't know. I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? You didn't enter yourself? I'd already agreed to sell. The competition was an incentive for those who were still thinking about it. Oh, I got the hawk saw outfit. What the hell is that? Take an extra distance of damage and stay standing. Alright. I like this one. I better go see what Biggs is up to. Well. What now? We need more from the neighbors, Cole. Keep working. I think that guy still has to give me something. And no, not like an enema. Okay, you were thinking that. Saving! Okay, cool. This guy has a face that makes you want to punch. All a man can do is put in a prayer for the dead. About all I've got to say about it. Here goes the, uh... What, what's his name's up to? The uh, fire chief, where'd he go? Looks like the same model. But we already killed that, or not killed that guy. We already have him in custody. Holy shit, look at this. This is the flashpoint. The heater detonated with enough force to expose the foundations. Damn. I don't know where that fire chief went. I think we need to talk to him. I'm not sure. I think there's still maybe still be something inside the house. Oh lord. 
I never want to work arson if I ever became a cop, I'll tell you that right now. This is this is really terrible. No, it's just a ball, that's nothing. Sorry people if I'm boring you with this, but you know. You gotta make sure at least I at least want to get at least one more five star during this damn game. That's like the least amount I've ever had. I'm gonna say is that something I don't think so. Maybe. What the hell is that? No, no, that's nothing. Yeah, look at that. God damn. Poor people. Poor fake people. We we have to talk to the neighbor still, and he's supposed to give us a flyer. But apparently the game maybe glitched or something and it's not trying to give me that anymore. I don't know. Never the same, are they? Damn it. I don't know what happened. Oh, ooh, ooh, ooh. Forgot about this. Come on. Come on. There we go. Someone was keeping watch. Looks like they were here for quite a while. Brand looks distinctive. Calderon. Damn it. Footsteps. No, I already looked at that. Okay, suspicious activity. Did you see anyone hanging around the Morelli's home prior to the explosion? Nope. Can't say as I was looking out, though. You sure, Mr. Foreman? There are signs of someone hanging around over there by the fence. Hey, now that you come to think of it, there was a guy. Kind of tall. Skinny, though. Anything else? Orange lumber jacket, a beat-up hat, and no hair. I thought he was the pest exterminator guy who was working around here the last few days. But that guy had hair. <laughs> Thanks for your time, Mr. Foreman. Sure. Hey, if you're interested, I have one of those competition flyers in the kitchen. I could get it for you if you like. That would be great. Any luck, Cole? A couple of things. What did you pick up? All the piece of paper. Looks complicated. Japanese call it origami. Can I take a look? Sure. Paper crane. There's a legend about them. You fold 1,000 of these and you get a wish. That would take forever. Hey, don't break it. I'm not. I'm unfolding it. It looks like a waybill or a flyer. For what? For Elysian Fields developments. Oh, I see you already have one. When did the flyer arrive in your mailbox? They've been arriving for weeks. This one was in the mailbox when I got home from work yesterday afternoon. All right, it's time to make a call. There's an achievement, Huckster. If you get all the uh, questions right when you're talking about Leland and Rowe, and I might want to try to get it. Ow. I need an address for a property developer. Elysian Fields Developments. One moment, detective. The address is 748 North Oxford Avenue, Wilshire. Anything else? Messages, please. If you have a message, contact Captain McKelty immediately. Thanks. Can you put me through, operator? Of course. Here you are. Commander? Leads in the Morelli farm. We're about to go and visit Elysian Fields Developments. You're about to do what? Leland Monroe? He's a personal friend of the mayor and the chief. Are you out of your mind? I'm warning you, Phelps. 
Commander, we have a line of inquiry. You have something, you bring it to me. You're hanging by a thread, Phelps. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Good. Have a report on my desk today. You all seem to be standing around. Kelty has warned us off over a leisure. Makes sense. It's a dead end. We should check out Rancho Escondido. You know the place? Sure. Corner of Fountain and Wilton. Let's go. Okay, let's go to Rancho on Escondido. Uh, that place, yeah. You drive. I need to go over the case notes. So where do you want to go? I'd, I'd rather go bowling with your partner because you're like the most likable out of all of them, but... Other, yeah, that's another thing they should have had L.A. Noir. Other than just the cases, you should be able to do stuff with your partner. Other than that, it's pretty bare, considering for all the details. He's still in custody. Want to bet? Fella kicked the moose already. Can't hold him for misdemeanor cigarettes and matches. Okay. Rancho Escondito. 5 p.m. You know, there are times when you really miss a nightstick. There's more religion in the end of a nightstick than in a hundred cathedrals. Damn straight. I'm not gonna tell you again, sir. Don't tell me when and how I can come and go on my own property. It is not This is safe, America, sir. dickhead. Now step back or I'll lock you up for Smart a break. son of a bitch. Damn. You sorry sack. I'm gonna... That's I, my pulse or pulls. My punches seem to be like pretty slow. Have you noticed that? Anyone? Look at this old dude. Oh, he wants to fight. Damn. Just lay down, man. There we go. I'll teach the rioters. Good thing you showed up when you did, detectives. Those folks were baying for blood. Okay, then. Let's see if there's anything left to take a look at. Another goddamn house fire? Goddamn. Wait, what? Cement. Ah, uh, the bricks, right? The mortar is like dust. Is that normal in a fire? And expect some shrinkage in the heat, but it looks like the cement barely adhered to the brick. They're cutting Doesn't costs. Appear to be any wall ties either. This thing looks like it was built on the cheap. That would do it. Look at that shit. If we're paying a visit to Alicia and ruining my career, let's bite the bullet and get on with it. Yeah, damn straight. All right, we're going to go visit uh, Leland Monroe, who seems a very shady character, I must say. And uh, we're going to try to get the uh, Achievement Huckster. I think it's Doubt, Lie, uh, Flyers, Doubt, Lie, you can drive. Um, and where exactly course, are we going? I only look it up just for uh, to get that. Reed Fields, 5 p.m. Hey, it was 5 p.m. when we arrived at the other place, too. Alright, let's go ruin Herschel's and R's career. Oh. It's Phelps and Biggs, LAPD, to see Leland Monroe. Do you have an appointment? With a police lady. We don't need an appointment. Can I tell him what it's about? It's an official investigation. There are two police officers here to see Mr. Monroe. Send them through. I was about to go up no matter That's what. That's our cue. Thanks, ma'am. May I help you? We would like to speak to Mr. Monroe. I'm afraid it's impossible. Mr. Monroe's schedule is booked weeks in advance. Cut to the chase, sister. Is he in? I'm not at liberty to reveal that officer. So we are you here for your sir. intelligence? I find that offensive. <laughs> you have every right to. This is getting us nowhere, miss. Casino. Would you like us to return with a warrant? 
That won't be necessary, gentlemen. Come into my office. Look at this Take fancy a place. Cigar. Drink, boys. A sure, cigar, nice. but okay. Biggs. We're investigating a series of domestic fires, Mr. Monroe. It's terrible, boys. How can I help? Lesions linked Lesions to arsons. fields and suburban redevelopment fund flyers keep turning up in the vicinity of the fires. They're turning up all over town, boys. Can you imagine the current demand for housing? So that's your explanation, Mr. Monroe? Coincidence? Explanation? Why, what's to explain? I advertise on radio and billboards for buyers, and I advertise for sellers using waybills. Uh, my phone froze. Hold on. Doubt. We found a family burnt out in their home. Another house burned to the ground. Another Elysian Fields flyer. Our information is that they didn't want to sell. Are you saying that's something to do with me? Is that your point? Point is, every time we find a family barbecue, we find one of your flyers. Is that good advertising? What do you know about a competition for families to win free vacations to Catalina Island? My company runs many promotions. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm not familiar with that one. Why? Level with me, Mr. Monroe. You know all about the vacation offers. You can believe whatever you like, son. You're missing the vital ingredient called proof. I can't tell if his frickin' eyes is open. The Legion Fields, yeah. Your face is all over the flyers, Mr. Monroe. You know about the prizes, and you're aware that they get given to holdouts. My face is the brand. It's on all our advertising. Did you know that the mayor and the chief of police are part of the Suburban Redevelopment Fund? Everyone in this town's corrupt. You want to accuse them of murder as well? We've made offers to buy houses in areas where fires have been recorded. Are you suggesting that I'm burning people out of their homes so that I can sell them new ones? What happens to your plans if a family like the Morellis refuses to sell? We work around them. Business finds a way. That's the American way. Come on, Mr. Monroe. You expect me to believe that you would build a new development with one of those old piles smack bang in the center of it? Progress is an inexorable process, detective. Those who choose to stand in defiance are usually confined to the waste basket of history. To answer your question, yes, we would build around them if we had to. Most people see sense. I don't think you can see anything because your eyes are closed. What's Elysian Fields' involvement in Rancho Escondido? It's one of our latest housing developments. It was due to open on the weekend or was before the unfortunate conflagration. It met with building code regulation. Absolutely. No, that's bullshit. Only the best for our returning heroes. What about the collapsing uh, bricks? You're lying, Monroe. There's something out of kilter about that development. Son, I've had enough of you and your fidgety friend. <laughs> There's no way in hell you can prove that my materials were inferior. The poor cement quality. I'm no expert, but I think we'll find that the bricks being used on those houses are undersized and the mortar is faulty. And there's no wall ties connecting the masonry to the frame. Every building is built to a budget, boys. Those buildings were inspected and fully insured by California Fire and Life. Investment of that magnitude demands it. Do you think that they'd vouch for the buildings without examining them? The arsonists. Do you have any suspects? We aren't at liberty to say. I didn't think so. The contractors I use for waybills. Do you suppose there could be any of them? I have a list of their names, if it'd be of any help. That would be very helpful, Mr. Monroe. Glad to hear it. I'm always happy to help the LAPD. Unless you're in on the it, I doubt it. The will provide you with that list. Did you know that I'm on the board of the police pension fund? Yeah, you better say goodbye to that and your health insurance. Glad to be of help, officer. If there was health insurance in. What's uh, Chapman. 
Any of these names ring a bell? Herbert Chapman is on this list. Find the phone. We need to know where we're at with Chapman. Is there wine in this building? Yeah, apparently there is. Look at this big ass door. The boss is a fine man. I was fine right here. These days. Operator, give me R and I. Putting you through now. Phelps, one, two, four, seven. Did I get the achievement? I haven't seen it. How could I help, Detective? Can you check whether we are still holding a Herbert Chapman? Let me find out for you. He was released this morning, Detective. Yeah, I figured. I'm sorry, Detective. Not your fault. Can you give me a last known address and put out an APB on the guy? I'll get back to you, Detective. APB will go out over KGPL shortly. Thanks for your help. Well, I love the change. Oh, God, oh, this again. The minute I win it, a beautiful face to learn love for me in it. Give me oh, God, it's Roy. And baby, I'll be it. Cause I always kill the things I love. Some Buy me a drink, Cole. No, not even for old time's sake, not even for that. You're not going to ask me why I'm here? I wouldn't give you the pleasure. Now get around it. She's in fine voice this evening. I wonder how the commander would feel Save about... the threats for someone who cares about them, Roy. You're breaking my heart, Cole. You know how I feel about you. Stay away from Elysian Fields. I should have known that you were playing Aaron Boy. You and your doofus partner. You have been warned. Thanks for your cooperation, officer. I love you. Stay away. You have no idea the type of people that are involved in that company. I have a pretty good idea, Roy. The same kind of people that sent you here. Your investigation is finished. Homicide will be taking over from here. I've heard we've had a spate of grass fires in the hills that you and that hunchback might be able to handle. Thanks for the drink, Cole. What's a douchebag? Always a douchebag. Also, apartment 845A. Why are you still with her, man? God damn. You get the message about Monroe? Yeah. Earl delivered it. You? The Kelty. He started making noises about my pension. Sorry about that, Earl. I didn't mean to drag him into this. Save him, Phelps. Monroe's an ass boy. And so was Earl. And so was McKelty when it's all said and done. KGPL calling the car 11K, 11K. Ah, oh, there we go. There's the chief. 11K, Ow. go ahead. 11K, the last known address of suspect Herbert Chapman is 650 North Kingsley Drive in Wilshire. Roger that, KGPL. 11K en route. Let's go pick him up. You fought at Sugarloaf, didn't you? I did. But I don't like to talk about it. You How far is this? Okay. I'm across a guy called Jack Kelso out that way. You know Jack Kelso? He's an insurance investigator over at California Fire and Life. Our paths cross from time to time. For some reason, seeing you makes me think of him. Has uh, Jack spoken to you about his experiences on Sugarloaf? For the rest of the campaign. Oops. Jack keeps stung just like you do. I know what it feels like to get back from conflict. You gotta respect that. I guess so. Oops. Oh, that guy fell. I was kinda attached to the paint chop hole. Oh, the paint's not too chopped off just yet. Oops. Sand. Pardon me. I wonder how that would happen in the case. Who would charge? They'd probably charge the police department. I'd probably get docked back. If you use the siren, maybe those metal things in front of your car will know you're in a hurry. I didn't hit a car last time. I just... Yeah, I just hit a bench. That's made out of wood, I think. Uh -oh. No! 
Oh, my God. Yeah, I would get out and let him drive, but then we're almost there, I think. I wonder if the games can, or any of the cases coming up for the rest of the game are going to be sunny. That does also look like storm clouds up there in the sky. It looks more like dirt clouds. I wouldn't feel safe in a tank when you drive it. Well, good thing you weren't in World War II with me then. Oh, come on. This car is going to die in a minute, I know it. Are we close yet? Uh. Wait. Uh. You know what? I'm just going to let him get out and drive. This takes too long. You're behind the wheel. There we go. Yeah, that was taking too long. I thought the yellow dot on there was him, but apparently that was probably just like a random street case or something. Or location. Kevin's apartment, 9.13 a.m. We're looking for Herbert Chapman. I'm looking for him, too. I need him to move his car so I can mow the lawn. He's definitely not here. I've been banging on his door off and on for a couple of hours. Yeah. He's out somewhere. Let's take a look at the car. Let's see what he's hauling around. Ah! Looks suspicious. And he said he wasn't involved. Well, that was the other fire. And hard evidence. We should revise the APB. He's clearly armed. He's like seven bullets in him. Or not in him. Well, not yet, at least. And what's this? Flyer? Yep. Hmm. He's setting these fires. Definitely gives him opportunity. Holy cool. There he is. It's Chapman. He's coming out of the laundromat. That's where he's been for a couple Seamus. hours? Cops. Again. Oh, god damn it. Oh, he got a... Uh, oh, boy. Son of a bitch, he must have caught the trolley. Son of a... We gotta move fast, Cole. I'll call this in. Get some cars dispatched. Car 11K calling KGPL. This guy's a menace. 11K requesting assistance. In pursuit of suspect aboard the 1110 University Street Bar. Currently heading east on Melrose Avenue. Advise all units. Suspect is in control of car and driving dangerously. Roger, Larry Kay, all units. Officers need assistance on Melrose Avenue. A suspect is on the 1110 University streetcar headed eastbound. Approach with caution. Suspect is in control of the streetcar and driving dangerously. Get a stay on code 3 identified. Stay on his ass, Cole. Don't lose him. Well, you can really stay on, only stay on one path. Okay, that was a boomerang. How much damage this guy's causing to the city? See if he can damage one of the wheels. Might act like a brake and slow the thing down. What would happen to that cop car? I did not do that this time. We didn't catch up to the son of a bitch. It's no good! We need to get closer! Look, Cole, this is good. There we go. End of the line, you little prick. Come on, Cole. Oh, and the random, uh, Looks like things are back. Man, Cole. Well done. I'm not so sure. I don't know why I called him to pull out his gun as soon as we got out of the car. Seems to be more to this than a personal vendetta. What are you talking about? The fires benefit a lesion in some way. I see Chapman and Monroe working together. You have a point. The evidence is good for Chapman. Hard to be worrying about his side of the story when he's blasting away with that big 45. Nice work, gentlemen. Put yourself at considerable risk stopping that trolley and probably saved a lot of lives. Anyone else but you, Phelps, and you'd be up for a bravery award. Thank you. We've had our eyes on that slippery son of a bitch Chapman for as long as I can remember. I couldn't be happier than to wipe him off the scoreboard. I hope this puts to bed that crazy stuff you had going about Leland Monroe. What were you thinking, Phelps? Calling Richard Nixon a crook next. <laughs> oh yeah, that like that's not foreshadowing or anything.
Why are we still hanging out with this German bitch? God what is damn it? it. A letter from Lou. His insurance policy named me beneficiary. California Fire and Life. You worked for Elysian? The roof that he was working on collapsed. It's a very generous settlement. Elsa, I'd like you to do something for me. I think there's something dirty about Elysian Fields. What has that got to do with Lou? I want you to reject this settlement. I want you to go and see an investigator named Jack Kelso and ask him to make some inquiries about Lou's case. Isn't this police work? Do you want to know <coughs> what happened to Lou? Bless me. Sorry Why for that. Help? Kelso. Jack won't be able to help himself if he smells a rat. He's a friend of yours? He hates my guts. Elsa, you could take this money and let them get away with it, or we could get Jack's help and do something about it. Why not be honest with this man, Cole? He deserves your honesty if you want his help. Believe me, Elsa, I'd like to level with him. I really would, but it's too late. Years too late. I'm going to get like two stars for this damn case. Thank God there's only like three more to go, but I at least want to get another five star. Four star, alright. Chapman takes his motive and any possible ties to Monroe and Elysian Fields to the grave. 